Atlanta News First starts now with breaking news. And we continue to follow that breaking news, the death of a Georgia icon. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Tracy Hutchins. And I'm Alan Devlin. Sports Director Fred Khalil is here with us in the studio. Fred, you've been covering Georgia football for what seems like forever. <laughs> this time, is yeah. a huge loss. Very, very huge, Alan. I mean, this is big. Vince Dooley was 90 years old, certainly one of the most popular men in the entire state. I was told today the coach had been in hospice care recently. He had COVID as well, but was released from a hospital earlier this month after battling COVID. Coach Dooley came to Georgia in 1964 from Auburn, where he was an assistant to Shug Jordan after a career as a standout quarterback there. In 25 seasons as the Dogs head football coach, Coach Dooley won six SEC championships and won 201 games, averaging eight wins over a year, all capped off by a national championship during the 1980 season. Dooley also served as athletics director for 25 years, from 1979 to 2004. And in 2019, UGA honored the legendary coach by naming the field at Sanford Stadium, Dooley Field. We got to visit with Coach in 2019. He took us for a tour of his gardens. Coach even published a book on gardening. I mean, there was a big celebration for Coach Dooley's 90th birthday last month, and current coach Kirby Smart talked about the chat that he had with Coach at the team hotel the night before the national championship game. So our condolences to Barbara and their sons. Fred, he Alan? will surely be missed. Governor Kemp just released a statement on the death of Vince Dooley. It says in part, like most Georgians, especially those who attended our state's flagship university, we were monumentally impacted by this legendary man, proud husband, loving father, and cherished friend. 